Hi everyone and uh, welcome to Crochet Rocks. My name's Tracy. Um, this is um, some happy mail. I got loads this morning. So um, some of it I know about and some of it I'm not sure about. So um, maybe I ordered stuff in my sleep. Maybe, I don't know. But um, I got this. It's so nicely packaged. don't like to undo it. But this is, oh, and there's more more packaging what are these I know I ordered a couple of wow so much wrapping oh now they look interesting remember the Rico design made by me hooks well these looked very similar and I thought I wanted to give them a try um, they don't have a brand but they are quite pretty and they go up to a five where the others only went to a four and a half. Um, the smallest is a two and a half. So that's kind of my medium range that I use the most. So I thought I would order those, give them a try and give you my opinion on them. Um, and maybe put a link in if they turn out to be any good where you can get them because they were quite reasonable and extremely well packaged. And uh, so I'll do that. I'll review those for you. Then I received this, and I honestly don't know what this is. This is a Chickabee Keck Cake, and um, well, I can safely say that I don't remember ever ordering that, so where did that come from? Let's have a look. It's very nice, really soft and squishy. It's 100 grams and 393 yards of premium acrylic so it is really soft sorry if i got the microphone then guys didn't mean to just a force of habit and there is a little note in here let's see where it come from well that doesn't tell me so if you sent me this thank you thank you so much it's really nice but um, there's no name or anything absolutely lovely really really soft got that new yarn smell but isn't it lovely all lovely colored browns and creams don't know what I shall do with that I have to find a nice project for that don't know where to put you and then I've got a big big envelope and I think this is things that I've ordered thankfully it's much easier to open than it, it looked and this let's get rid of that bag sorry about the rustling this is some fancy yarn that I ordered from cello you remember I made that sparkly shawl for those of you that have been with me for a while that came from a company called cello walls and I really liked it. It was lovely. Oh my God, this is soft. This is called the Sweet Tooth Yarn. It's 100% polyester, but look at this. Look how squishy that is. That is beautiful. Um, and it's, it's quite thick, quite thick yarn. Just trying to see if it's got anything else on it. It's a hand wash wool, unfortunately. It's called Dewdrop, this color and it goes with a size 6.5 so it's obviously a a chunky yarn i wouldn't say super chunky but it's got lovely flecks in it but it's so soft i ordered the purple and blue and it's just so soft obviously um didn't just order a couple i ordered five of the purple and for once it's photographed in purple which is great and five of the blue so I should have to think of something wonderful to make with that. Another package. And in here, there's another pack of these Made By Me Rico Design hooks, which I did um, get to maybe do as a giveaway. So that might come your way very soon, either a giveaway or a present. But um, there's less in this pack. Looks like there's less. No, no, there's the same amount. It just looked like an, a narrower pack. Maybe they've changed the packaging. 
It does actually look like there's less, but there's still eight in there. And I ordered a book. I thought I would order this book and see if I can find some interesting squares to do um, with, and get some, usually I use these books as an idea. Um, I find something and adapt it. But I thought there's hundreds and hundreds of really cool squares in this book. It's called 200 Crochet Blocks and it's by Jan Eaton. So I thought I would, and this one caught my eye because the start of it is the same as the Willow Square, but it squares off. And when I saw that, I thought it might inspire me to do a lot more different things. So there's quite a lot of blocks in there. I haven't had a chance to look at it yet, but first time really in many, many years that I've ever ordered a book. So <laughs> that should keep me going for a little while, but this, I absolutely love it. It's so squishy. Uh, I'm not really that impressed by the fact that it's hand wash. That's the, oh, it says for best results. Um, hand wash and wash colours separately. Yeah. But I was going to, th I was thinking of perhaps making a, a blanket with it. But if you've got to hand wash it, that would just be a bit of a nightmare, wouldn't it? Or whatever I make, I just put it in a washing bag and see if it goes through the washing that way. If you've ever had any experience of putting your hand wash recommended items in a washing bag and putting them through the machine, if they've turned out well or turned out badly, then please let me know in the description or in the, uh, not the description box, the, the comments section and um, I'll have a look at that. But I love this yarn. I'll have to think of some cool projects that are maybe not too big. Um, I did get this colour and I thought maybe maybe a giveaway don't know I have to stay tuned to see but it's so so soft and this thank you to whoever sent me this again absolutely love it so that's that's my acquisitions my happy mail thanks for watching if you haven't already don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell and make sure it's set to all because a lot of you are saying that you're not getting notifications so maybe check that it is actually sent, set to all. And uh, thanks for watching everyone. And I'll see you again really soon. Thanks very much. Bye bye for now.